All right, so welcome to a new video on this channel here. Today we are going to talk about Grey Zone Warfare and how we can optimize the performance since the game is, uh, of course, not perfect. It just got it into early access, and for a lot of people that are not running the newest gen, it's kind of rough, and there we are kind of experiencing. Um, some issues, me included. I had some problems with game crashes and um, with stutters, especially when loading into new areas. Then I would get like some freezes and some game crashes, especially for some reason, especially when I was going to Blue Lagoon, I was having problems. Like I had a lot of crashes over there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, it just happened to be like that. Um, but I figured out some settings that helped me at least a lot and I'm going to share some insight for you guys So you know um, what I'm doing uh, But first of all, I wanted to thank all of you for your support. I've been getting a lot of views um, On my videos on all the quests. I'm glad that I can help out a lot of people out there uh, with their starter tasks So you don't have to like keep searching and everything um, it's kind of nice that you guys are all around and I appreciate every one of you watching and um, yeah. So in this video we're going to make your game run better. Now since you're doing quests you might as well just want to make your game run better so you don't have like 30 FPS. Um, like a small disclaimer, this is not like I'm not a wizard, we're not doing any uh, sorcery here. Um, we can just optimize it up to one point if you don't have like a a graphics card like from the 30 or 40 series it will be rough you will be having rough um, performances if you don't have like 32 gigs of RAM just like me I have 16 gigs uh, you might experience crashes because of that um, we can just hope that they will optimize the game even more and the, that the game will run better in the future but for now I'm going to share some settings that help me make my game run better so first of all uh, we're going to go into the graphics tab and from there like the first point is the FOV When I did up the FOV like above 70 my game was becoming more unstable I don't know if it's my system. I'm running an i7 8700k and an Nvidia 3070 and as I said 16 gigs of RAM I don't know what it is, but if I run high FOV my game becomes more unstable um, one advantage if you're using like um, lower FOV like if you zoom in your reticle or your red dot is kind of like you can see stuff uh, but once you up the FOV uh, that was the volume my bad um, if you up the FOV uh, the like your scoped sight will become way smaller and it will become harder to shoot on ranges um, especially with my graphic settings that becomes an issue because like everything is a bit blurry and if you're shooting on range and your dot is really small and it's kind of blurry then it will get hard to hit people so I recommend running 64 FOV um, I mean you can play around maybe it runs better for you and you can like see stuff so you don't have to use that FOV so just my opinion on that uh, moving on to brightness contrast saturation gamma I would keep all of these around 100 I was playing around that's why they're not 100 there's no reason like I could put them to 100 right now um, like it won't make that much of a difference, but I upped my saturation a bit. Um, I didn't, I didn't want to overdo it because if you put your saturation too high, uh, the game will look kind of goofy. So I just put it to 124, so the colors are a little bit stronger, and I can like see uh, like enemies more as dark spots. And like if I'm like I'm just used to high digital vibrance, and if you put the saturation up. I feel personally like if you see an enemy in like grass or something they will stand out more black compared to like a green bush for example so that's why I'm using that uh, frame rate limit I would recommend putting this to whatever frames you're reaching like I'm reaching something between 80 to 120 FPS so I just put this to 144 um, this is so you don't get like weird frame dips um, like when you put your FPS max to like 240 you can reach that but for some reason you will get like dips so that's why I'm using 144 here um, if I tab out of the game I don't want the game to consume my whole PC so that's why I have frame rate limit for when the game is in the background on 30 FPS uh, when it comes to the quality settings I put everything on low um, I want to have as much frames as possible I've been struggling to get um, 
frames in the beginning of the game. Um, now it's not optimal either. Um, I'm kind of used to other games, so I have more FPS in those games. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm using everything on low. Also on post-processing on, on this tab, I'm putting everything on very low as well. Um, now comes the most important part for most people. Um, turn up the game volume even, turn down even more so the heli doesn't annoy my ears. Um, for people that are using a 30 series card just like me, I would recommend using FSR with frame generation on. Um, what this does is basically it upscales the game and it makes the game feel way smoother for 30 series cards. Like right now I have 80 FPS here. Um, as I said, it's like really unstable as you can see, like sometimes I'm getting 88, sometimes I get like 100 when I'm in different and different areas since there's a lot of details around here most likely. But if I'm running like on fields and I'm getting up to like 120 FPS sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's uh, thanks to FSR because if I'm using DLSS, um, I'm not getting those frames. Um, that's mainly because I don't have uh, I don't have a 40 series card and only 40 series cards support frame generation on DLSS. So if I turn this on, as you can see, I just half my frames. Like I lost half my frames. I only have like 40 FPS, and this doesn't feel really good. Also, it makes the game look way more blurry because you have to turn up um, the uh, scale on the sharpness of DLSS and as you can see like I can't even drag this because it becomes uh, like really laggy immediately so I'm not going to do that um, if you have a 40 series card though I highly recommend using DLSS uh, if you're using an Nvidia uh, graphics card because if you have the 40 series card and you can enable frame generation then that will help your frames uh, way more uh, than FSR so Takeaway, FSR is for 30 series cards and DLSS is for 40 series cards. So just so you know that, that's uh, kind of important to know. Um, I've been he hearing about people, like if you don't have any issues running this game or like if you don't have a lot of issues running this game, let's put it like that, then you can use TSR. Um, TSR is apparently the most optimized out of these um, settings when it comes to stability. Because I'm using FSR, I don't know if it's necessarily tied to FSR since I have, like, as I said, I don't have a lot of RAM, so um, that's a bit wonky. I, I, I'm getting crashes. I feel like there is some kind of memory leak for me, or I just don't have enough memory, probably. Um, so my game crashes um, because of that, I feel like. Um, but yeah, if uh, like DLSS and FSR are not 100% um, stable, I've, I've heard that at least. So if you have zero problems running the game, but you run into a lot of crashes, like if you have good FPS, but if you run into a lot of crashes, try out uh, TSR um, that might help you uh, getting rid of game crashes. All right, so that's everything that you can uh, like set up in game. Um, if you really want to, like, I can show my other settings, like, these are my settings here uh, on the game. Um, when I'm going to controls, um, these are my settings for controls. So if anyone uh, wants to know what I'm using, uh, you can just pause the video at that point and just copy my settings if you really need to. Yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, when it comes to in-game settings, there's some things that you can do. Uh, out of the game though, um, there's things you can do in Windows for example, and that's what we're going to do uh, right now uh, If my game would let me get out of this screen. Thank you very much um, There we go. So my gray zone warfare is obviously running uh, What you want to do is go to the games folder first What you're gonna do for that is uh, right click on the game go to installed files go to uh, Browse and then we're in the folder where the game is installed so you want to go to the Grey Zone Warf Warfare folder, uh, then you want to go to Binaries and Win64. Um, this is the executable of the game. You want to right click that, go to um, uh, Properties, and then you want to go to the Compatibility tab. Like everything for me is in German, but in English it will look kind of the same. What you want to do is you want to disable full screen optimization. This should help with performance. If you're struggling super super hard you could try to run the game as admin always that should help as well uh, to some extent so you could put a tick in here as well 
I didn't do it, but um, I've heard that for some people it helped. I'm actually gonna turn it on now just to check out if it will help. Uh, if if it helps a lot, I will pin uh, pin a comment probably. All right. Um, there's two more things that you can do, uh, or actually one more thing, um, and that's in the graphic settings. So as again, this is in German for me, but I'm going to look like, uh, like, like you can see, like I typed in just graphic and there will be a graphic settings tab. Um, all you want to do is go to the bottom part. Like first of all, you want to uh, turn on hardware acceleration uh, for the GPU. That might help some people already, uh, but then this lower part is like really important. Um, so what you want to do is like I already added gray zone warfare as you can see but what you want to do is um, like add the game and then you want to go to the same location that I just showed you when we uh, disabled full screen optimization so what you want to do is find the executable of the game then you want to add it to uh, this list and once you've added it to this list you have an option like an option button and what you want to do is you want to put on high performance uh, for gray zone warfare and after you have done that uh, you're basically finished and uh, you like there's there might be even more things you can do you can do things in the nvidia control panel uh, for the game like setting uh, setting the settings even lower you can do that um, i haven't done that because my game like I, or i tried to do that but my game looked uh, like really horrible doing that so, and I'm not struggling that hard so I decided to not change anything in my NVIDIA control panel um, but if you want to um, I can show that real quick as well oh, I got disconnected from the server as well that's uh, great um, might be an update in that case just gonna check that out in a second as well all right uh, the game is not closing I'm uh, I love this game sometimes it has like some issues as you can see so i need to close it with the task manager now so i'm going to the nvidia control tab i'm not uh, showing my desktop here real quick i don't want to leak anything here um so there we go uh, we are back uh what you want to do is you want to go to program settings here in the 3d settings and then uh, we're going to let that shit load and then we're going to look for Gray Zone Warfare. Okay, it's not listed here yet, so you want to add Gray Zone Warfare manually. So you press on the Add button here. Uh, for some reason, my NVIDIA control panel is like really laggy sometimes. I don't know what's uh, happening here, but yeah. Uh, we are adding Gray Zone Warfare, and as you can see, uh, you can change a lot of things here. And um, when it comes to like all the graphical settings and like um, like the anti-aliasing stuff you can just turn most of these things off and then um, the performance should be better for you um, like as i said i didn't really try that much with this game so i'm not going to um, try out things that might be unstable for you guys but um, if you want to have better fps you could try uh, to play around with these settings as well and yeah that's about it for the video uh, i hope uh, this will help some of you guys with the performance of the game as I said, FSR for me did the job. I had 30 F 40 FPS in the beginning. It felt fucking horrible, to be honest. Um, but after turning on FSR, that like doubled my frames already. So that might help you as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for the support on all the other videos I did on Grace on Warfare so far. You guys have been liking my videos, liking my content, um, subbing to my channel. Thanks a lot, guys. And um, I hope I can even create more content for you guys in the future. So, I'm um, back. Uh, I forgot one thing again. That's kind of becoming a running gag here. I'm always forgetting things. Um, there's one more thing that you can do. Um, there is this program called um, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. So, as I've said, I've, having, I've been having game crashes. So, I'm, I think that's because of the RAM, as I said. Um, one program that helps me clearing my RAM is this program right here. I'm going to link it in... Uh, the description as well um, why is it not opening there you go um, you can just put it in the system tray as you saw um, what you want to do is um, like you can just purge the standby list here for example manually and um, like 
like here it says standby list will be purged when these two conditions are fulfilled free memory is lower than thousand uh, right one gigabyte and the list is at least one gigabyte it will automatically purge um, all the background tasks so you have more RAM available um, yeah you can change the setting only when um, only when this program is stopped so you have to stop it and then you can see you can change the values here uh, I'm going to restart it again I'm clearing it one gigs just in case like if the like if there's any programs uh, worth of one gigabyte already in the background I'm just purging it yeah that's it for real for this time uh, once again thanks and uh, see you in the next one